You know, I think when you first hear the words extreme medicine, it's something that can sound very, very glamorous. You know, extreme medicine, you know, it might sound like you've got somebody saving lives on an aeroplane with a, with a coat hanger and a bit of duct tape. But actually, for me, it's completely the opposite. And it's about really trying to apply those you know, really strict standards of high quality contemporary medicine, contemporary care, but in the most enormously challenging environments you could imagine. And all of our courses are taught, facilitated by people who are recognised experts in their area, nationally, internationally. And it's, and it's a very exciting time, you know, students in terms of, you know, particularly master's dissertations, they're often producing, you know, new knowledge in, a, in an emerging subject field. And so it presents itself with an ideal opportunity, you know, for students to really be getting stuck into, you know, their dissertation, their research assignments, and really being at the forefront of the, of the creation of the academic background to the subject. The course itself is actually delivered as a partnership arrangement with a, a local Southwest company called World Extreme Medicine, who themselves are, have, have been involved in the delivery of CPD care around remote and wilderness medicine for many years. All of our residential modules are delivered in authentic environments relevant to that subject discipline. So if you're learning about you know, tropical medicine, you will be in a jungle camp in Costa Rica. If you're learning about cold weather medicine, you may be spending part of your time in a snow hole in northern Norway. We run courses in the Middle East to, to, so people are familiar with what extreme heat might be. All of the courses are, are delivered you know, actually within those authentic environments. There's people who choose to go off into the humanitarian sector, you know, it's, it's a very popular element of the course. The other dimension to it is the support for, you know, expedition. Most people that I come across in this field, uh, most people learning and studying as well, they have a, what we might call a conventional, conventional medical role as well, whether that's a hospital or a clinic type arrangement, and use their portfolio of skills to go off. Uh, and, and contribute to this type of work, you know, on a part-time basis. You know, I really, really hope that, you know, look forward to your application and welcome you to Exeter, you know, in due course on this fantastic programme of study.